What is up everybody, Under Average Joe here. We are back with the NHL 14 Be a GM commentary series with the, oh uh, wow, I almost said Detroit Red Wings. That's like, what, this is the fourth episode in a row? I've almost said Detroit. Uh, Columbus Blue Jackets, and uh, a little bit of a disappointing finish the last season. Didn't really expect uh, to do as poorly as we did. I mean, we're only two wins off of our mark that we were supposed to get, but it's whatever. Um, this episode, before we go to free agency and the draft and all, uh, I want to kind of go over what I think the rosters are going to be and what what they're looking like this year. Let's go to... I already... I, already, oh, I don't have the setup because I don't have edit lines. Okay. Um, contracts. So what I'm thinking is... Let's see. For centers, pretty much keep our centers the way they were, the way they were uh, last year. Johansson, Anisimov, Jenner, Latestu. I know Jenner didn't do too good, but I'm going to give him a second chance. Mainly because of his four gold, um, four gold stars. That's a factor. Uh, we're definitely gonna have enough money to sign Johansson. That's not that much of a problem. Uh, left wingers. Let's see. I'm thinking. You know what? Dubinsky didn't do too well. I might try to trade him in the draft, um, or just sometime during the off season. I'm thinking Umberger, Feligno, maybe Dubinsky on the second line right wing. We'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, Calvert, then Kamau. Then that's just gonna be about it. About it on that standpoint. Um, I did get a request to trade Nathan Horton. Um, I'm not gonna tell you who I'm gonna trade him for because I've got a couple deals in mind. I already went through a couple lists and looked. So I've got uh, a couple guys lined up to see if I can grab them. So Horton's not gonna stick around very long, even though he was our best player last season, arguably. But you know, I think it's time for a change. And if you look. He's uh, 29 years old. One, two, three, four, five, six, six years left. Six, seven years left. And uh, at that rate, he's going to be you know, far older than I want him to be. He's going to be 35, 36. At 85 overall, he's only going to go down from here. And if his best output's 55 points, you know, we, we can do better than that. Uh, Fratton did really well. Or at least he, he jumped in overall, which is good for us. But I'm thinking of having Dubinsky on that uh, second line right wing, have Atkinson on the third line, Fratton on the fourth. And uh, these two are just going to go back down to the minors. Defenseman, I'm getting rid of Schultz. I don't care what anybody says, getting rid of Schultz. Uh, Johnson was Wisniewski on first line. Thinking of getting rid of Tewton, just because you'll see. Um, Nikitin's going to be a second line, along with Murray. I want to put Erickson on the third line. Uh, the, rest of, the rest of the guys are going to be in the minors. But with Teuton, he's making 4.5 mil a year to be in our third string. That ain't going to happen. He's going to get traded. He's our second highest earning defenseman. Uh, good old Bob. Bob's going to, uh, of course, be a starting goalie. Um, second string goalie might be Smith. It might be, you know, we might trade somebody. We don't know. We're not 100% sure yet. Uh, that's how it's looking. Our pen of the kill, I want to improve upon. Our power play it was actually half decent. It's just we didn't finish all too well. I don't understand why. It might just be in our strategies. So let's jump right into the draft. Um, there weren't any really major... Um, we were the fourth overall pick. And there wasn't really any major uh, retirements. Actually, I found it strange that no goalies retired. Yeah, I, I noticed that. And I apologize if you hear a crying baby in the background. My nephew's downstairs. Um... Just bear with me on that case. So, first off, the trade that was the most requested is good old uh, Nathan Horton. Horton? Wow. Um, let's see. Who do I want? Alright, the number one guy that I think would fit, and I think it's a really good option for us, Jordan Eberle. Alright. So, oh, trade value. The trade values are about even. Now, we will take on a little bit more of a cap hit. But look at this. Uh, he's four and a half gold stars, 24 years old, six year contract, six mil a year. You know, we have him locked up long term. He's a good sniper for that first line. He'll be a good fit with Johansson, who's a playmaker, and Umberger can fit just about anybody's play style. 73 points. He's a boon on the power play. Um, takes a lot of shots. Definitely not going to be a uh, shorthanded option, like a uh, pen of the kill kind of deal. But, you know, he's going to be worth it. So we'll see if they'll take it. Okay, um, the value apparently is not sufficient. Let's we'll see if we can throw in a draft pick or something. Just make it 
a little easier on their end. Oh, not Anaheim. Because uh, I think, honestly, getting rid of um, Horton is going to be one of the major things that we're going to do in... Uh, oop, do not want to trade the fourth overall pick. Um, I'll trade our draft picks for not next year, but the year after. I'll trade like a second and a... F Actually, we have a crap ton of thirds. I'll trade LA's third. Right? Yeah. So we get Jordan Eberle. That is good on us. That means that um, he's going to go on our um, first line there. And I believe, yeah, he's going to be on the top power play unit, which is awesome for us. We could use a uh, fresh set of hands. Now, who are we going to pick? There's Ekblad, Reinhardt, Edmonds. Okay, I don't really have any. I'm not going into this with any player in mind. I'm just going to take a look around, see what we got. Uh, McCown and Mr. Lay are the top two. Um, yeah, those are the ones left in the top five. Offensive defensemen, power forward. Um, let's see. For our future, for defensemen, I think we're fairly set. Jack Johnson's like 27 years old. Wisniewski's getting up there, but he can replace by Murray. Uh, once Johnson retires, Erickson can move up. And the rest of the, like, the bottom four, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, no, not gonna really get a look at them. But out of these two, here, let's look goalies real quick. No, nothing really there. Okay. Oh, it's gonna go. Not, I don't particularly want forwards. Skaters just in general. Why aren't you loading? There we go. So offensive defenseman or, uh, power forward. Let's see, on f our forwards, We've got Johansson, who's indefinitely the number one center. Eberle is indefinitely the number one right wing. Feligno is going to eventually be the number one left wing. Uh, Anisimov, Duby are fairly young. Uh, but I do plan on trading Dubinsky. Uh, Calvert's up and coming. Atkinson's up and coming. Jenner's up and coming. So really, the only guys that don't really fit are our, uh, fourth line. And they're pretty much just irrelevant anyways. Um... So I think on forwards, we're pretty good. I mean, you can never have too much forward depth. But, um, see, I really want to take my time with this pick, kind of evaluate situation, simply because this is our, this is our pick, you know, this is the guy we're going to roll with. No scouting visits. What do you mean? Okay. Um, what's the acceleration is fairly good. Actually, it's really good. Durability is great. Uh, defensive awareness, not so much. Uh, is he an offense or defensive defenseman? Because if he's defensive with that low of a defensive awareness, no, he's offensive. Um, he shoots right though. So that means, because Murray and Erickson shoot right, uh, shoot left. So we can have a right handed shot. Do I think I'm gonna go with Roland McCown. I think that's gonna be our way to go here. Sure. And there we go. That concludes our first, uh, first round pick. Let's see how the rest of this shapes up. Uh, I'm hoping to be able to fit free agency in here, too. Um, let's see. I, and I'm not going to do what we did in Detroit and just waste all of our picks. Because I do uh, plan on getting relatively good picks next few years. Uh, next up is Brandon Dubinsky. And I have a couple guys lined up already. And the number one I have in mind, we have to go to Philly. Here we go, take a trip over here. Wayne Simmons, alright? So, we get like an extra million in cap space uh, by doing this move. Four gold stars, 25 years old, six-year contract. He's locked up for the long term, and that's definitely good on us. Uh, 28 years old, and, you know, two years left, 4.2 mil. And honestly, he's not doing a whole lot. You know, even on the penalty kill, our penalty kill is one of the last places in the league. Uh, Wayne Simmons keeps that physicality, and, you know, he, he can keep up with the rest of the team. And, honestly, I think he's just the better option here. So, will they take this deal straight up? Um, alright, the trade value's too far off. Not that big of a deal. Let's put Dubinsky, and we'll find out what picks they want when we scroll back over. Go back to Philly. Wayne Simmons. We're gonna find out what they want here. Um, draft position. I want to keep our draft picks this year. Um, oh, that might be the only ones they want. That would create a problem. 
let's see, ours or the 34th or 45th, uh, LA's is pretty far off. And they're going to take that. Good. So that's a pretty good deal. Uh, I, th I think for both ends. Alrighty. Let's see what we can get here. Oh, this guy's pretty good. Two-way defender, uh, three and a half green stars. Um, Hayden Flurry. Here, let's look at forwards real quick. And just, well, I'm not, that doesn't mean I'm going to pick a forward, but just going group by group here. Um, yeah, there's a couple, well, 5'10". See, I am judging by size because I like having big teams, like big kind of physical teams. Honestly, draft picks in Detroit when we played with them didn't really matter much because we were always in the playoffs. But now that we're not, these draft picks can actually matter. Uh, Colton Bobbick. Uh, Hayden Fleury are both look like really good options. Check out goalies. Just you know, yeah, I didn't really dr uh, check out goalies that much. Let's see. So they're both pretty uh, big guys. They're both two ways defender, two way defenders. We know a lot about this guy. Uh, discipline, wrist shot power is fairly good. Uh, slap shot power in eighty one. Acceleration balance. His fighting skills, we don't know. He's a little weak though, 69 strength, giggity. Um, you know what? Just, I might go for Colton Bobbick. I think it's who I'm gonna go with here. Yep. Alright, going on to round three. So, our next move is to trade Teuton. Now, I don't know who's honestly gonna take him. I might try to make a move for Schultz, but I know nobody's gonna take him. Alright. Um, basically, anybody. Like, I will literally trade him to almost anybody. Uh, Boston. Let's see, defenseman. I might even trade him for a pick. For next year. Like, their first round pick next year. That wouldn't be that bad of an option. Uh, what teams... I know Vancouver did really bad this year. I uh, saw so they had the uh, 30th pick. So we could do this. Not league approved. Dang it. Um. Yeah, but that would take off their salary cap, so we can't trade him to Boston for a pick. Um. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm skipping over all these teams that want him. Buffalo. They could definitely. Uh, they don't want to give up their picks. Calgary. Don't want to give up their draft picks. Carolina. Same deal. Chicago doesn't care, but they're going to be a fairly high draft pick. There we go. Not league approved. Do it. Let's just try and get a player. Not that big of a deal. Um, we don't really need a draft pick. Okay, I'm honestly looking for anybody that I can actually play this year. Um, that's a lot of money there. What about Mike Komasarek? Yeah. And he's not going to be of much use to me regardless. Uh, Matt Hunwick, maybe? I mean, I just want to clear some cap space, you know? Uh, actually, who do they want to give away? Let's go to Skaters Giveaway. Hayda, not that big of an option for us. Gonchars, yeah, they're trying to lose cap space. Um, Detroit. Whoa, they got a lot of guys they want to give away here. Eh, but their salary cap's a little iffy. Edmonton, we don't want Ferentz. Um, Florida. No, their cap space. Well, no, the uh, the cap of the players that they're trying to give us. Montreal, no defensemen. Nashville. So we have Vaynanen, Diaby, and Russell. They're both really crappy. Well, all three of them are really crappy. Uh, Elias, not somebody we really want. Islanders, who's that Finley guy? Um, I don't think he's going to be of much use to us. No, nope, move on. Alrighty. Rangers. How did... And they don't really have much to really offer us. Ottawa, nothing. Heading back to Philly for Pronger. Pronger's a 75 overall still. Jeez. All right. Uh, definitely not going to do that. Phoenix. Um, Melindy. Yeah, there's really nothing there. What about Pittsburgh? Maybe Pittsburgh's got something for us. Eh, nothing really much. What's going on with this guy? Four gold stars. You know what? I might actually take this guy. Yeah, I don't think they'll um, give me that, though. No, the values are definitely off. Let's see what... Actually, let's offer it. 
Yeah, the trade value was way off. Um, honestly, I'm just trying to get rid of this guy. I don't, I don't think anybody would actually want him. Oh, let's go back. What about Washington or Winnipeg? I'm so used to Washington being the last one. Skaters, nobody. Um, nobody really there. Vancouver, nothing. Toronto, no defensemen. Tampa Bay, Brewers, not really an option for us. Um, nothing. San Jose, nothing. Heading back to Pittsburgh. I definitely want this guy. Okay. Let's see what they want. Okay, what do they want out of us? All skaters. They don't want any draft picks. Skaters matching block. I could throw in Schultz. And they could throw in uh, one of these guys, maybe. McNeil or DiGostino, whatever the hell he is. Uh, an enforcer defenseman. Or how about... Yeah, two of let's go. Let's just go with the enforcer. See what this... Oh, salary cap is a thing. Dang it. Alrighty. So no McNeil. No Schultz. Uh, see what else we can give on our part. Um, maybe skill for McNeil. Let's go through. No. Okay. Not that big of a deal. Uh, let's see what we got here. Wow, we were running up on 17 minutes already. This is crazy. Um, I'm gonna hurry this up. Because after this, the picks don't really matter that much. Um, we'll go with this guy. Shinkarook. Let's keep going here. Nobody's going to want Schultz. That's a problem. Um, I might just... God, I don't want to keep Tewton. Really don't. I might bury his contract in the minors and just do that. Uh, I'm going to give it one last shot. I'm really just going to take anything at this point. Who's this Moro guy? Ooh. Okay. Let's go with him. Oh, salary cap. Okay, so I don't, yeah, we're definitely not going to get the free agency in this, in, uh, this episode. Not that big of a deal. Let's go Buffalo. What do they have to offer us? Nobody. Nobody. Carolina, you know, let's just look at somebody. Um, I want to take just by anybody at this point. What about Roosevelt? Can we just take Roosevelt and just be done with this? Sure. Alright, so we clear all that cap space, which is good. Uh, that gives us some money to work around with. Um, sure, we'll just take this Lemieux guy. Round five. Um, not really interested. Actually, eh, I want to hurry this episode up. Actually, do you want? I'll go a little longer. Just because I know somebody a while ago requested a uh, longer episode. Oh, this guy's officially our highest trade value, by the way. Huh. 61 overall, 18 years old. That's pretty good. Good on... Hey, he's got more value than uh, Murray, which is awesome. All right, let's see. Nick Schultz. I don't think anybody's going to take this guy. Um, What do they want? Maybe they would take Murrow? Would this work? Yeah, no, nobody's going to take him. Simply because uh, his contract's about to expire. We don't have... Okay, I don't think we have any picks the rest of the uh, draft. No, we have a seventh rounder. whoop de doo um, Nope, nope. Pros the trade. Okay. I wish I didn't skip the trade deadline so I could have actually gotten rid of Schultz. But whatever. Okay. Well, you know, let's... Let's take a goalies, maybe. Um, nope, definitely not. Check out, like, Enforcers. First Enforcer I see I'm taking. Where are they? Where's my Enforcers at? Eh, whatever. So out of these, like, five guys that are in seventh... Oh, way more than five. I'll take this Baran guy. Alright, that concludes our draft, and it also concludes our episode. So on that note, I will see you guys later. Leave a like and a comment down below on what you guys want to see. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.